The UALR Fieldhouse, the site of an epic battle on wheels today. Two of the best roller derby teams in central Arkansas squaring off for bragging rights. THV 11's Mitch Lilly just skated in with the story. The action, fast and furious. <laughs> Fans hype for a girls rolling in the South League bout between central Arkansas roller derby queens of the rink and the breakneck brawlers. <laughs> Brawlers team captain Holly Dunning has been with the squad since its beginning in 2010. I'd never heard of roller derby. Somebody invited me to a practice and I remembered loving to roller skate when I was in middle school. I went to one practice and I was hooked. The same can be said of Jamie Wallace. Her nickname is Brick. She's always been involved in athletics and needed a new challenge. Well, I had knee surgery about three years ago. And so when I was done with all my physical therapy and everything and I had started working out again, I decided I was going to do something crazy, and this is what I chose. When it comes to roller derby, there's certainly a lot of intensity and a little bit of strategy. And let's not forget about the physicality. These women say you got to be tough if you want to lace up your skates. People get hit down to the ground, kind of like football, but not so much of a tackle. We've had torn ACLs, broken ankles. Uh, shoulder injuries, and last year we, we, some girl broke her jaw. Injuries aside, the sport is one of the fastest growing for women across the nation. Roller derby has the best of every kind of aspect of any sport. There's physical contact, it's competitive, it's tough, it's strategic, and um, I think if more people knew about it, they would fall in love with it. In Little Rock, Mitch Lilly, THV 11. Thank you for that, Mitch. The Breakneck Brawlers back in action in two weeks. They will be back at the UALR Fieldhouse May 3rd. Doors open at 4.30. Tickets are $10 at the door. Kids under 12 get in free.